Before we actually create the drag and drop text questions, I want to show you what the end result can look like. In the quiz question in front of you, it says drag the words to the blank spaces that complete the sentences. So this is a basic fill in the blank. Here are the options and you can have more options than you have spaces. So the narrator of the story to kill a mockingbird is and you can fill it in with the information by just dragging that item up there. Now I also want to point out that once this one was pulled up here, it went away from the list. You can make it so that it's an indefinite item, that maybe that item can be used again. In that case, the word would stay down here in the list and also appear where the student put it. Students can also drag things away and rearrange them until they submit the quiz. So that's one example. Another example of a drag and drop text question is like the one in front of you here. It says drag the word that best completes the analogy to the end of each line. The options for each analogy are color coded. So notice the white code here goes with the white words and the gray and the blue and the purple and so on. So they, you can color code them and have multiple items in one question, but have them sorted out so they just drag their information up. In fact, I think if you try to drag a word to a wrong location, it will jump back and not let you put it there. You have to have the color coded options going together. And last, even though what you drag up has to be a text item, for example, right here, my text items are listed at the bottom, you can't have a picture in your option. So in this case, I left a blank for where the students are to fill in the answer, but the question is basically a picture. Drag the time to the correct clock. So the students would have to drag the information up to a picture. And I'll show you one other one. There's a variety of things you can do. Math teachers tell me you can't do this for math. Well, yes, you can. Simplify each equation by dragging the correct answer to each expression. So then you would have the information to drag up to the expression. And again, you can have more options than you have spaces that need filled in. And that's some examples of how you can use drag and drop text questions.